Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is Monday. <laughs> again, again, it's Monday. It's it's Monday again. And it is Monday, April 9th, 2012. I'm so glad this day is over, people. I am so glad that this day is over. Not that it was a bad day. It was a rather light day because a lot of people took off today. I don't know if they took the week off or you know what the case is, but it was 15 minute drive again, going to work and pretty much a 20 minute or so coming home. If I didn't have this fool driving at 20 miles an hour in front of me and I'm thinking he's got cars in front of him, you know, I had to do one of these and just check to see solo all by his own damn self. I had to pass some people. I had to. I don't have time. I don't have time. I just want to go home. Do you understand me? Home is where the heart is. In my YouTube family, come to think of it. So, okay, lips of the day. But can I tell you, I am using a bronzer. I'm using the Milani Bronzer XL. The All Over Glow. I don't know if it's giving me an All Over Glow, but let me tell you, I like the look. I like the look a lot. A lot. Now, you see that it's two colors, right? Obviously, two colors. The darker portion I used as a contour. I'm learning people. And the lighter portion is the blush that you really don't see, but yet it's there and it gives some kind of a glow. It, it does give me a glow, which I absolutely love because you know, I will forever always be after my glow. The glow that I had at the age of 16. 16 was such a prime age for me. Oh, I looked my best at 16. I was looking kind of hot at 21 too. But 16 was when you're just coming alive as a girl and you're, you're, you're crossing the threshold or you're getting very close to the threshold of being, you know, a woman. And, you know, 16 is when you sort of think you know boys, but, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like, you're more grown at 16 than when you were 13 and 14 because now you you know I can't say been around the block because I, I I was still a fresh young thing if you get my drift at the age of 16 but 16 was when I was looking good for some reason my body was 16 and my face was looking clear and I wasn't I, I had passed the pimply stage and I was coming alive as far as my complexion and I had the glow. I had the beautiful teenage 16-year-old glow. I've been chasing that glow ever since. It's sad, but it's true. So, um, so this is what I'm wearing on my face today. The all over glow. And this one is fake tan. There's another one. I don't know which one it's called, but I like this one because I like the shade better. The other one is just a bit darker, but, um, yeah, people, I think it's working. You let me know, but I think it's working. So as for lips today, one of my NYX round lipsticks, and I like it because it's a coppery, bronzy kind of shade. And, you know, of course, it was going through my nude phase, and... On the Cherry Culture site, these colors look so different than when you actually get them. This is, isn't really a nude. No, it's not. But this is what it is, people. It is number, oh, let me tell you. It is number 528. And I don't know how you pronounce it. Gaia, Gaia, G-A-E-A. -E Gaia, Gaia. I don't know, but this is what Gaia or Gaia looks like. It is a coppery bronze, coppery bronze shade. It is gorgeous. It's smooth. It is long lasting. And um, I'm wearing it without a liner. Believe it or not, I'm wearing it without a liner, but I do have a topper on top, which is sort of fading away. But, and I didn't. Obviously, I didn't reapply. But this is the topper. 
And you can't see this for crap now because it's all scratched up and all gone. This was a LaGloss. It was a LaGloss. And I think it was either 165 or 163 because you can't tell for crap. But it's, it was Chocolate Obsession or is Chocolate Obsession. It's Chocolate Obsession, but you can't see it anymore because um, this sad, pitiful, golden, golden writing that they had is all gone, as you can see. But the shade is fantastic, people, and makes a great topper. Great topper because it's a light, chocolatey, coppery shade to go with the dark, coppery shade. And this is what you get. Mm -mm. And I'm wearing a golden-ish, a light beigey golden-ish shirt to start off the Monday on a good bright foot. That's what I wanted, just to start it off on a good bright foot. And so that's it, people. That is look of the day, lips of the day, whatever you want to call it. I'm very happy. Um, I don't know. I was getting ra rather risque without going with a liner this morning, but I just figured, you know, what the hell? I know how to line my own lips without, you know, going all out and overboard. So I did that. And um, I think I did it successfully. And uh, that's it. You know what? Let me try to put the topper on a little bit. Give it a little bit more punch, even though I'm about to wash my face after I, after I upload this. But just to get a little look. This smells, oh my God, it smells so good. It's a caramel chocolate scent, and it is to die for. There you go. So that's the look, people. That is the look. That is my face look. That's my look. I love the way the makeup came out really like matte. It's not a dewy kind of look. It's a straight, straight up matte look. And I absolutely love the way my makeup came out, if I may say so, my own damn self. I'm working these bronze bronzers, people. I am working the bronzers. This spring and summer, I am going to work them out. Okay? And on that note, that's it, people. Let me know what you think about the lip look. Again, it is 528 Gaia or Gaia. Somebody needs to let me know how you pronounce this because I really don't know. That's the shade. That is it. Gorgeous shade. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I wouldn't wear this every day, but, um, you know, its number was up. 528 was up, so, you know, and, you know, the LaGloss that once was, and this is in Chocolate Obsession, loving it, I think I actually did a review of this by itself, I'm almost certain of it, so if you want to see what that looks like by itself, start digging in the back archives videos, it's somewhere back there. But I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you really want to find it. But this was what I used as the topper for the lipstick. And this is the lip look. Okay. So that's it, people. I hope everybody had a, a wonderful Passover, a wonderful Easter. Like I said, it was just a regular Sunday for me yesterday. Um, Pop was out doing his own thing um, in the backyard, chopping up wood, doing... He's got a project. He has got a project in his mind. As long as he's happy and he's kept busy, I'm not going to bother the man. I'm not going to bother the man. That's the way he he purges himself. You know, that's the way he, he, he releases bad thoughts or whatever. It's not that he wants to forget mom, but he doesn't want to be sad. He doesn't want to be sad. And I'm sure he remembers, maybe, somewhat, that Easter used to be her day. And I didn't mention Easter to him at all. I didn't even mention it to him on Saturday when um, we had dinner together. We had a good dinner at his favorite, his new favorite diner. So, um, you know, we, we, we hang out together a lot. I, I look after my dad. My dad looks after me. And it's just us two now. And, you know, we, we, fe we feel the missing part of the puzzle, obviously. 
But um, we're keeping up. We're keeping up. We're doing our best. He carries me. I carry him. And um, that's just the way it's going to be. That is just the way it is going to be. And on that note, I don't mean to be down or anything. I hope I didn't depress anybody. I'm really not depressed. Although I do tend to get a little misty and I get a little choked up when I start to talk about my mom. But it's not because I'm sad. It's because I miss her very, very much. Y'all know, whoever's missed, who's, who's ever lost somebody in their family that they were extremely close to, you know the feeling. You know the feeling. Years can go by, because she passed in 2008. Years can go by, and when you still talk about that person, you still get a little choked up. So, I still get a little choked up. And on that note, um, that's it, people. That is it for the day. Um, I had a good day. I hope everybody else had a good day. And, um... I guess I will see you tomorrow. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the whole look. Let me know what you think of the lips. If there's an improvement to be made, let me know. Okay? Let me, just let me know. And on that note, I love you all. I love my YouTube family. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.